Hello everyone and welcome to module 2 and in this module we finally gonna learn more about uh, search engine optimization and how it works and kind of uh, get that kind of roadmap mind map in your head yeah how, how how it's gonna be structured and how where are we gonna go from here from the from here and from basically from the start how you do it from the very start right so uh, instead of instead of doing the slides again <laughs> or just uh, be staring at uh, at one screen all the time I chose a little bit different approach now I'll be a little bit <laughs> drawing here this is the free tool called paint.net I believe it's by Microsoft it's a free tool it's a cool handy tool I use it quite a lot in my business every now and again yeah for some tweaks and little things uh, and so I will kind of uh, do a little vi visualiz visualizations here so you can well visualize the stuff that I'm talking about I never done this before so bear with me a little bit I've never taught anyone like this so it's the first time so it's gonna be probably fun so uh, so f consider this big white space this white screen Consider it as a Google, right? As a Google's playground, right? Google is a big search engine and has a huge playground where the millions upon billions of websites, web pages are stored in. And it's like a huge directory and they have to decide which one is the best, which one they put up, which one is most relevant and which one is basically the best <laughs> for the consumer to pick from. So uh, let's call this, I will type in here. let's call this Google then right I'll put it a little bit bigger for okay so this big pool is Google now in Google as I mentioned there's many different web pages and websites and stuff like that so in between there is also your website right so here it's gonna be your website okay main site get a little bit smaller so it's easier to distinguish things okay so uh from now on, well, from the start, it's just you here, right? It's just whole big Google there, and uh, it's, you are alone. There's nobody. Nobody knows about you. It's like you uh, lost in the forest, and nobody else is around there uh, to to kind of mention you or help you. That's how it is, right? From the start, that's exactly how it is, and that's exactly where most of the people and most of the businesses. Uh, kind of hit the problems yeah because they they have this website this thing that they spent a lot of money for yeah especially back in the days when uh, you the normal price for a website would be five thousand dollars or something which in these days is kind of ridiculous unless it's some huge like huge uh, website that needs loads of like coding and stuff right the normal website like you know in these days you get you get a website for uh, three five hundred dollars and it's like already professional looking website with everything in it so uh, basically if you have just a website and nobody knows about it what is it for right it's just sitting there in the Google it's nowhere like it's stuck somewhere underneath so what do we need to do we need to create the kind of uh, content around it right of course create a content on your website which should be of a high quality providing value and uh, should be kind of on page optimized it's not that huge as it used to be with on-page optimization, by the way. So there are some tweaks that are needed to be done. Otherwise, you never rank for the particular keyword you want to rank for. But it's not that huge. I will talk about it when I will talk about on-page SEO. So now we have your website and... around your website you have to create these 
properties that you will basically talk about it, right? So I don't have a sh same shape all the time. It's a little... Uh, all right. Let's do that. Let's do Okay, uh, sorry for kind of a pause, as I said, it's the first time I'm kind of doing it, so bear with me a little bit. So right now, here you have your main site, and uh, nobody knows about it, nobody links to it, so how can uh, anybody discover that website, right? So what you need to do is need to create a bus, as I was saying, like we have the particular process uh, in, at Online Paradigms, like I myself like uh, developed a process through learning that I basically create a structure, the whole campaign, and I, ex I, and I know exactly how I'm gonna, what am I going to do and how I'm, am I going to follow like months in advance. Yeah, I know exactly what, what, what's need to be done. Sometimes uh, you can even structure it in advance and schedule everything. So, just for example, that uh, this, these are, okay, let me take this thing. Let's say that these are the, like, you know, the other properties, like this is press release, right? That you basically should do from the start. These are all press releases. I should type in press release one, press release two, press release three, press release four, and th all those press releases will go out on scheduled basis, right? So, and it it will contain either you, you, the some words and the something that talks about your website, some uh, worthwhile news, right? And they will basically point to your website. This will be press release one, and it will go the first month. This is press release two. That will go the second month pointing to your website, to your different pages on your website, right? Just to make it a little bit more clear, like, you know, these are the different pages on your website around which your press release is pointed to. Okay, so this will be third month press release or, or weekly, like, you know, you can, you can even schedule it weekly. And uh, if you don't know what is press release, <laughs> by the way, press release is uh, basically the news. Uh, it, 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 it's the news article post published on the on the official authority news or media outlets websites, right? Where um, hundreds or millions of people already search and, uh, and they have customers such as if you ever heard about A ABC News, uh, NBC News. CNBC or whatever, that's what I'm talking about. Fox, yeah, for example, news, Yahoo Finance. That's press releases. That's what I'm talking about, right? And they, they bring the huge amount of authority. They cost money. It's not that easy to write it yourself because it needs to be in a particular format and uh, talks in a particular language in a certain way. <laughs> yeah, it's not a regular post, like, you know, but they are very important. So that's what you're gonna do. That, that, that that's what you do. Schedule. So and these other ones. This is for example one blog post. 
This is another block. Another block here. Another there. Right, and these are all the different blocks. Like you know, it could be your uh, B B N. For example, here P B N. Right, and here is the other people blocks that you basically reached out to uh, over the time. And again, it's a perfect backlink to one of your pages or to your main site. Uh, sorry, to your main home page, right? It's always good not to put all the links to the home page. It's good to diversify it a little bit uh, over the post and different pages so it's perfect like so uh, but that's not all like uh, this also we have these squares here which is gonna be your different social media networks uh, properties web 2.0 yeah or social media networks That you basically uh, create uh, as value for yourself and brand it. Brand you will be branding yourself through those networks, and it, why is this important? Is that you basically create a kind of uh, protection shield against you because these networks are uh, trusted by the by uh, Google and search engine. And uh, it makes sense that most of the real businesses would have all, all like most famous social media accounts or channels or web 2.0 channels for themselves. So it's kind of very good way to do it. Plus they have authority and they can really well help you with your rankings. So again, published articles, you know, on those uh, properties, you know, create a, create a post be engaging in your social networks with the other people, connect with the other people, like make it real, look like a really real account and that you care about it. And all these things are pointing again back to your main site. Yeah, you will have some kind of description there or profile uh, place where you put your uh, website's URL or in, you regularly in, you publish a post, you mention something, you, you publish a blog post on your main site and you, uh, you basically distributed all over the, your social media you basically to mention hey i published a new blog post go go go, go here yeah uh, like a syndication curation of your content from your main website okay and also obviously this is not all this is not just all it, it, this is just a kind of a um, really small view because this could expand yeah this all is expanding this grows so for example here we have another site, yeah. Here we have another one. Here we have some other, here, here. Okay, uh, here. Okay, so uh, and what, what what these are basically? It's again, it's another some other blog or some uh, someone's website. You reach to someone and he's willing to uh, link back to you, or it's your it's your website, your PBN networks, yeah. Second tier. Go. Uh, this could be like a press release as well. This could be some other social media account. Right, again, blog. Right, another web 2.0.
Okay, so these these will also be used in your campaign. So you basically uh, again you will link from this blog to this blog post. I mentioned hey there is a blog post you link from this blog post to uh, this PR press release, right? You will uh, link from this blog post to this press release, like mentioning it on there. This web 2.0 will go to this blog, mentioning it, this social media will go to this blog. This press release will go to this blog, right? And so on and so forth. Like uh, these are called the second tier, right? are called the tier two uh, links and they are basically the links to the links to your main site and they are very powerful they could they, they are kind of considered very powerful as well like like the first first like tier first level links but you know why not to diversify and go there and then you even go further like you go, you go to third level fourth level so this is in the nutshell, and, and it's a content, it's distributed content on all over these sites, yeah, and it's a high quality content. You don't distribute some crappy content with some automation system because you don't want shit uh, shitty content on these sites, yeah. You want high quality content on these sites because these are sites that are going to be visible, right? There are going to be people coming from, to these sites, right? The real visitors. If the visitors are not coming to the site, uh, then it's, it's, it's wasted. Like, the, you need to have the visitors coming to the site. Oh, crap. That, that determines, that tells Google, all right, this website is important. Because it has the visitors, right? The visitors are coming from all over these sites. Okay? And basically, visitor comes to this site. And then it goes to here side and then goes to main side. The Google all tracks this. The Google knows what's happening here, right? And if, if it sees that there is traffic on these sites around coming uh, to other side and pouring to the main side there, it, it, it gives the signal to Google or any other search engine uh, that this there is something important on this site. This site must be important, like, you know, so that decides the algorithm pushes the site forward and up in the search engines that's how it goes and you obviously need to create a good sites of these like because you need the visitors there real visitors you need to attract the people you need to catch the attention of people all these sites around so the best way to go about this is using the real people's blogs yeah outreach it could be expensive but not, why not to do all strategies, right? The private blog network strategy, the blog outreach strategy, creating your own web 2.0s, uh, so creating your own social accounts, uh, outreaching to the all social media experts, uh, if they can promote you on their accounts, social media st and stuff. Like, that's how it goes. That's how you go viral. And once you get a thing going and it really catches the momentum, then it will go really viral and you will attract natural backlinks, backlinks without even doing much. Like, you know, they will see that people will naturally link to you without doing anything because you will get viral with that stuff. It takes time. It takes some hard work. Uh, it's ne You cannot tell how long this is going to take. Uh, there is no any exact time frame. Uh, depends from varies from business to business, from niche to niche. But this is roughly... What is it? Yeah. And I will talk a little bit more in the in the next videos about the other things. This is just a rough, a quick view of what we are trying to accomplish with the, uh, our search engine optimization. OK, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video is not too long. If there are any questions, just let me know uh, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.